Alright guys, Delzinski here and some interesting news coming out about the 2K showcase in regards to the CM Punk and John Cena feud. Now, it's been reported across numerous websites that CM Punk actually hasn't received a face scan. Unfortunately, 2K and Visual Concepts were not able to get him in that state of the art studio to capture the model of CM Punk. So that character, that model will not look as good as the likes of John Cena, Randy Orton, who have both had the capture scans done at the Visual Concepts studio. And this is kind of disappointing uh, to be honest because with CM Punk being used as such a major piece of the game, obviously he is one of the members of the 2K Showcase, just as we've got Shawn Michaels and Triple H. The fact that CM Punk hasn't had the face scans, if that devalues the look of Punk against like Cena, then that's kind of annoying. Um, and it sort of makes me think, well, probably 2K didn't have much of an option, to be honest. They couldn't predict the future. They couldn't have predicted what was going on with CM Punk behind the scenes in the WWE, which ultimately led him to walking away. But surely WWE had an indication of what was going on with the status of Punk and surely could have warned 2K and said, look, to be honest, things aren't going great with Punk at the moment. Um, it may be a good idea to maybe switch up the feud and go with John Cena versus somebody else. But it doesn't seem like any of that was done and obviously that is what's got to the stage where it's going to be CM Punk and John Cena in their feud in the 2K showcase. I mean, it could also lead to the fact that possibly I know that CM Punk is done with the WWE but there could still be some sort of agreement behind the scenes where Punk will eventually return so they, the WWE want to keep it fresh on our minds by including CM Punk in the game but if that isn't the case then surely WWE don't want to promote CM Punk that much and put him in one of the big pieces of the game like the 2K showcase doesn't really make a lot of sense. So it's kind of hard to work out what's going on here. Why choose that rivalry or why let 2K develop that rivalry um, when you knew what was going on behind the scenes? Now, with that in mind, I don't think I said it would be disappointing, but I don't think it's going to be a huge problem because you've got to think that 2K have had numerous legends that aren't going to be able to get the face capture uh, from Visual Concepts. They're going to have to use alternative means, they're going to have to go back to the WWE library, go through the images, find them and use them to capture the legends faces. So I'm pretty confident this will be the same process for CM Punk. On the other hand, I also think as well, if CM Punk wasn't around at the time to get the scans and the capture, why couldn't he have just done that one last favor and done this for the game? I mean, I'm sure he'll be getting some sort of royalties from it, from the fact that he's featured in the game. So why couldn't he have just hopped on a plane, got those face scans done, and he would look just as good as the other guys? I know that's me thinking selfishly from a gamer's point of view, because I want this game to look as good as it possibly can be. But I think as well, I know Punk didn't have the best of times towards the end uh, and, you know, albeit he seems unhappy with the way he was treated. But this is for the fans. This is a game for the fans. This is something, this is big. WWE 2K15 is a big game this year. By the looks of it, it's looking awesome. And with CM Punk knowing that he's going to be part of the 2K showcase, why couldn't he have just done that one last thing and gave Visual Concepts the face scans that they need to make him look just as awesome as the likes of John Cena, Randy Orton and many, many others that will be captured in this game. So guys, I want to get your views on this. I mean, does it concern you at all that CM Punk is being majorly featured but not had his face scanned for Visual Concepts? Does that disappoint you at all? Um, do you think it was right from the WWE to allow 2K to get so far to a stage where they couldn't really back out and go back? Because possibly WWE could have had the chance to step in and say, look, we need to change this. John Cena will be the future, um, the face piece of the game. So we need to look towards who else we could pick for a few because there were a lot. John Cena's had loads of feuds over the years. We could have picked anybody. He could have even had one with Batista because they had a pretty good run. Um, 
or Randy Orton. Randy Orton would have made perfect sense. I mean, we've even seen the screenshots of it. So, I mean, guys, what do you think about this with CM Punk not being scanned by visual concepts and there is indications towards that he will look noticeably different to the guys that have been captured in WWE 2K15? I want to get your views. Let me know via the comments box below. And as always, please rate, comment and subscribe. This is Delzinski. As always, signing out.